ladies and gentlemen get ready for a battle and a face-off between the tech savvy millennials and the experienced baby boomers no we're not going to mention the gen z's permission to meet them for today so we're going to focus on the millennials and the baby boomers so it's a battle of generations as we dive deep into their financial strategies and then we uncover who is winning the game let's find out So the millennials are known for their entrepreneurial spirit. An average millennial beyond their nine to five, they have developed or learned a skill in which they're able to make some extra income from these skills. So I'll give you an example. A millennial has learned to embrace the gig economy. And when I say the gig economy, an economy whereby you have a skill and then you can make money by the side, doing a freelance work, doing a contract job, just making some extra income beyond your nine to five. So you'd actually see an average millennial doing this. And that is what we mean that millennials have the entrepreneurial spirit from starting their own businesses to having even most of their businesses are even online so they have learned to embrace technology to be able to get across to their target market online they you find them creating a youtube channel just finding innovative ways to get an additional income make an extra income here and there which is something that i find very 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 amazing about an average millennial now let's talk about the baby boomers a baby boomer on the other hand they have learned to invest in long-term stability they they just they are, they are very patient that's what i would say you know the patience that an average millennial does not have a baby boomer has it and that's why you find them having thinking about having doing retirement planning thinking long term when they even want to make an investment you'd find them actually having an investment portfolio that has stocks bonds real estate and the rest of them and they don't do day-to-day -day trading in the stock market like if it goes high i sell if it goes low i buy and then i saw when it goes out make make a make a spread and i'm good you'll probably find a millennial doing that but you won't find a baby boomer doing that because they focus more on stability they are thinking long term long term investment so when they buy into the market they leave it to grow then they'll probably buy into um a, they'll buy a stock that gives dividends so they get the dividend at the end of the day and so they're just thinking long term they're thinking stability they're thinking retirement they're thinking oh so when i retire what's going to happen to me what am i going to do in my life so that's that's basically what a baby boomer is doing so they have learned to be patient when it comes to investing they have learned to be patient when it comes to their finances now where do these two come together where they come together is in their need for financial education so both generations understand the need for financial education they understand the need to be financially literate and that means you understand how money works you understand money management you understand the investing world you understand the concept of saving and then investing you understand how to manage your money such that you're not spending more than you earn so these two generations understand this now combining the strength of the millennial and that of the baby boomer so you understand that a millennial has learned to make money through multiple streams of income so they have this here that brings money this month another one here passive incomes active incomes just several means of getting money and then you see the 
patience and the stability of the baby boomer when you bring these two together so you'd see someone that is able to generate multiple streams of income whereby they have diversified their income and then a baby boomer that has diversified their investment and are thinking long term they understand the concept of giving investment time to grow so when you bring in the strength from the two generations you have a lot to learn about having multiple streams of income and also investing long term understanding that retirement planning is also key you we an avid millennial will make money because you want to live a comfortable life you want to live the baby boy lifestyle you want to live the baby girl lifestyle which is good in itself but let's borrow from the knowledge and the experience of a baby boomer thinking about retirement that so after all of this when i do not have so much strength to work anymore even this skill that i have i do not i'm not able to actively get income from it what do i fall back on i need to be able to put money into investments long term that would grow over time and will compound over time and when i start when i when it's time for me to retire i have something reasonable to fall back on and to retire into a better life and not just feed off and not just um retire into penury so this is the face of so who is winning are the millennials winning or are the baby boomers with so there's wisdom to be learned here from both the millennial and the baby boomer so when you bring the entrepreneurial spirit of a millennial and the long-term stability mindset of a baby boomer and you combine this two in one individual you realize that you're setting yourself up for financial success so you can learn from all of these strategies and adapt them to your own circumstances so you might not want to have multiple active sources of income you may want to set up yourself for passive income you may want to set up yourself for getting um, for putting up avenues where you can still make money without you being actively involved in the money making process so put this together and you're on your way to financial success i wish you success i wish you love i wish you prosperity and abundance thank you for listening to me and please remember to hit the like and the subscribe button